Hello, I'm James May. This is Head Squeeze, and we're taking part in the biggest collaboration in YouTube history to tackle the 10 most baffling and as yet unanswered questions in science. And the one I've chosen is, will robots ever develop feelings? The ultimate question facing scientists working in the field of artificial intelligence is to create a robot with the same capabilities as the most sophisticated machine on Earth, which is, of course, the human brain. Now, IBM have already attempted this. Back in 2009, they built an artificial brain with around 9 trillion artificial synaptic connections, and that was extremely impressive. But compared with the human brain, it turned out to be about as capable as the brain of a small fish, which wouldn't even have the wits to subscribe to this excellent channel. The human brain is made up of about a trillion cells with about a hundred trillion connections between them. So we can say that it is processing at a rate of roughly 10 quadrillion instructions per second. But that's the thing, you see, we don't really understand the human brain. What we do know is that computer technology is developing at an incredible warp-like speed. According to Moore's theory, named after Gordon Moore, the founder of Intel, da -da -da -da, uh, each computer will roughly double its processing power every 18 months. And some theorists believe that by around 2070, we will arrive at an amazing event known as the singularity. This is the rather frightening idea that computers will be able to improve their own designs and replicate themselves, leading to a sort of artificial general intelligence that is greater than human intelligence. So that could lead to a new age of enlightenment and an end to war and famine and the idea that humans could become enslaved by robots. Now, true artificial general intelligence would need four capabilities to be genuinely like us. It would need to be able to recognize objects. It would need to be able to engage in complex dialogue. It would need to be manually dexterous. And most importantly, it would be able to understand social interaction, to understand feelings from someone else's point of view. Now, this is what makes us truly human, the ability to empathize, to have feelings. For a robot to be able to empathize with somebody in great physical pain or to be sympathetic to somebody after an extremely messy breakup, that seems highly unlikely because those emotional functions are the results of biological functions coded into our genes over thousands of years. Humans can be weak. We can be irrational. For a robot to have true emotions, it would have to be programmed to be as irrational as us. Computer programs at the moment can develop algorithms to simulate emotion on a very superficial level. But to replicate every single synapse and dendrite and axon in the human brain so that this thing had a true emotional conscience, that seems very unlikely. How we would react to a human-like robot of the future is another sticking point. We already have some robots with soft bodies and human-like features and faces and expressions and so on. And I've actually encountered a couple of them. It's fair to say we don't really like them. This is the phenomenon known as Uncanny Valley. We are programmed to find vaguely human-like things quite endearing, like cartoon characters and pets and cuddly toys. But if they become too human, we start to find them repulsive. We distrust them because they are fundamentally inhuman and maybe it stirs up some prehistoric response to them, some desire to protect our own species, our families, our clans. In truth, the future of artificial intelligence is shrouded in mystery. At the moment, it would seem that true consciousness is a physiological thing, and therefore it's beyond our grasp, it's beyond our ability to recreate it. But with the possibility of the singularity, maybe that will change. Maybe you want to think twice before swearing and shouting at your computer just because you've got an error message or it's crashed. It might be listening. Thank you for watching. I'm James May. This is Head Squeeze, and that was our contribution to the biggest collaboration in YouTube history, the all-time top 10 unanswered questions in science.